This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are heading up to Angel's Crest National Forest. Once again, if you guys have watched this YouTube channel, obviously you know that we spend a lot of time up here. It's one of my favorite places to come to and I don't know, I just, I love coming up to this place. It's always been a really fun area for me to come just explore and have a good time, take photos. Uh, but the real reason we're making this video today is to talk about medium format and specifically if medium format is worth it, both with film and with digital formats. I think a lot of you ask me very frequently if medium format is actually worth it, you know, if it's worth the hype, if it's worth the price and kind of the slower paced workflow. So I thought I'd answer that for you in today's video. Uh, the short answer is yes, I do think medium format is worth it. But I think there's a lot of different use cases that a lot of people don't really think about. And I want to kind of explain to you guys like my philosophy and reasoning for using medium format and kind of my journey to get to this point. So without further ado, let's go take some photos. So personally for me, I think medium format suits my workflow really nicely as of late. But if you look back to you know some of my older photos, three, four, five, six years ago, a lot has changed since then, and I've used a variety of different cameras. I've used APS-C sensors, I've used full-frame sensors, I've used 35 millimeter cameras, I've used medium format cameras. And I think the work kind of changes with the camera that you have, especially like a medium format camera because it changes the way that you shoot so much. Uh, it's definitely changed the way that I shoot and ultimately it's changed the kinds of images that I take on a regular basis. I think it's important to say that obviously the best camera is 100% the one that you have with you. I was always just really interested in trying out medium format, both with film and digitally to see kind of how it would change the kind of photos that I was taking. And back in 2018 is when I purchased my first medium format camera, which was the Mamiya 7 II. And I've been using that for a while now. I've bought and sold and kind of tried a variety of different medium format cameras since then. All in all, I think it's been about five different cameras. And I'm really happy with the ones that I have now. I think it's important for me to note that medium format you know, isn't necessarily the end-all be-all whatsoever to getting hired or making great work at all. I think it's just a really unique way to take pictures and to, to see the world. You know, I think it's definitely changed the way that I shoot and I like it. So I shoot a lot of portraits, landscapes, interiors, a lot of stuff that I have the luxury of time for. And if you're the kind of photographer that shoots a lot of high paced action stuff or stuff where you need to just continually shoot, this is not the camera or the system for you because it definitely takes a long time to work through and get the image that you want. Oftentimes you're getting three to five frames per second, and then you also have to allow for the camera to buffer and you know for the image to process. So overall, it's a very slow workflow, which I personally enjoy, but I didn't always shoot that way. Back in the day at every single shoot, I would just rapid fire, kind of spray and pray and hope for the best. And I think this really has allowed me to actually be really intentional with the way that I shoot and craft my images. So a lot of people ask me if medium format is required to get big jobs or get paid work, and absolutely not. I would say all the people that I know in LA that work a lot, they mainly use full frame cameras, stuff like the R5 or the trusty Canon 5D Mark IV. Those get the job done, and it's just a different way of shooting. You can shoot a lot faster, you still get great image quality and you know beautiful images at the end of it. It doesn't matter what camera you're using, obviously. So for me, if I have the option to shoot medium format, I definitely will. With things like daily life or fast paced action stuff, obviously that's not really gonna work very well. I'll use something like a full frame or a 35 millimeter sensor. For me, it just comes down to the quality, the depth, and I love the way that the images feel when I look at them. I think there's a really amazing depth to medium format images that is hard to describe. To me, it just feels much more immersive and interesting to look at, and I think that's a good enough reason to keep shooting this. So 
So I think for me, photography is much more of a feeling than any technicality or feature could ever, you know, take place of. And I do think that when I shoot with a medium format camera, I love the way that the photos feel. I love the way that the photos make me feel. And it gets me excited about taking pictures. No matter what excites you about taking pictures, I definitely recommend that you guys harness that as well and really allow yourself to be excited about taking pictures. For me, I just love the way that the world looks through a medium format sensor. It's pretty incredible, both on film and digitally. I think it's just a really exciting way to take pictures. So with all that being said, enough talking, enough blabbing about medium format cameras, this and that. I think the best way to show you guys what a medium format camera is capable of is to show you guys some photos from the past three years. So I'll let those do the talking. Before this video wraps up, I did want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. If you are looking to create a custom website from scratch without all the coding and hassles that come with it, Squarespace is by far the best choice out there, in my opinion, to make a beautiful website. They have easy to use templates, which make creating a beautiful theme that much easier, 24 seven customer support for all of your questions, and tons of customizable design and layout choices to really make your website stand out. For a photographer like myself, running a small business with multiple different kinds of needs, Squarespace really just makes sense. If you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com slash Samuel Elkins, which is in the description to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you next week.